Hello, Craig here from Eagle Eye. Today, the sign word of the day is brought to you by the letter I, and we're going to talk InDesign, as in Adobe InDesign. What is it? Do we accept the files? Let's dig in. Okay, so today we're talking Adobe InDesign. Now, what exactly is InDesign and do we accept the files? Well, before I answer that question, let's dig into a little history of Adobe InDesign. InDesign is actually the child of the old PageMaker. Yes, I'm going to date myself a little bit here. PageMaker was a program that was used to build catalogs, flyers, all types of print and so forth. And it was in direct competition with Quark. Now, when Quark started to really gain some ground, Adobe swept in and bought Aldis, which is the maker of PageMaker, rebranded it and called it InDesign. Now, InDesign is a very cool program. It's one of Adobe's nice programs that can really work and flow with its whole production series of products. So let me explain. InDesign is a program that is used in conjunction with Adobe Bridge. And with Bridge and InDesign, you can then pull images from Illustrator and images from Photoshop and pull all those into InDesign, pull all your ingredients in to make your product, which whatever it may be, a flyer, a banner, a sign, a catalog, but it allows you to pull all of that in. Bridge being, well, of course, what it is, a bridge to Illustrator, a bridge to Photoshop. But InDesign allows you to pull all these ingredients in to build your product or your artwork that can be used for signage, can be used for print, can be used for the web. Now, as I mentioned, InDesign allows you to pull all these ingredients in to kind of build the cake or make the cake. Now, I use that analogy for a reason. See, we don't necessarily accept, in fact, I'm going to tell you we don't accept InDesign files because people forget to include the ingredients. See, when you're pulling Illustrator files off of, say, your hard drive or a Photoshop file off your server because you work for a firm or whatever it may be, you're pulling in all these different products and you're looking at it. But when you send me the InDesign file, well, I don't get all the ingredients. Now, can we accept an InDesign file? Sure. The way you do an InDesign file is after you build everything, export it out as a PDF. Then we have all the ingredients to print your product. So. InDesign is a great product. I'm not bashing it at all. But what I am having a problem with is that customers that send us InDesign files don't link everything to it. So the way to fix that is, well, just send us a PDF file. It's the most commonly printed file out there. If you were printing a catalog or anything, anything like that, you would take an InDesign file and most likely convert it to PDF anyway and then send it off to your print house. Well, there you go. The letter I, in design, sign word of the day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of technical, but it's something that we run across all the time that we, well, we wanted to bring out to our customers. Well, thank you for following us. As always, appreciate your support. Follow us online, eagleeyesigns.net, and as always, thank you.